Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to Lynn news and filmmaking, and learn you good. And we're back to conclude our voice effect trilogy today, thanks to these requests. Well, let's just say a few of you asked for a Prometheus voice effect from Arrow. So that's what we're doing today, and this is another fairly easy effect. The only thing is, it requires you to do your best impression of Prometheus's low register voice, as I will demonstrate in this example. You haven't been listening. I'm not going to kill him. I'm going to make him wish he was dead. Now guys, if you can't do that, I do have some steps to help you out. But the better you can make that impression, the better the effect itself is going to sound. Apart from that, all you need is a copy of Adobe Audition and a pocket full of dreams. Now, have I forgotten anything? Uh, anything I usually put in the... My God. Ah, that's right. Let's get to work, shall we? Alrighty gang, here we are back in Adobe Audition, and as per usual, I've got my audio file recorded and ready to go, so let's have ourselves a listen. You haven't been listening. I'm not going to kill him. I'm gonna make him wish he was dead. As you can hear, I've lowered the sound of my voice, but unlike say our Savitar impression, it's not husky or raspy, I've kept it nice and clean. Think of it as trying to talk as low as you can. I've added a link in the description of the actual clip I watched to base my impression on, so by all means, listen to that plenty of times and practice before you record, because it's what I did. So our first step is pretty straightforward. I want to lower the pitch just a little, as Prometheus has a voice that's still a little lower in pitch than my impression. So let's head over to the effects rack here, and click the drop down menu, head to time and pitch, and select pitch shifter. From there, I'm going to lower my voice to say minus one semitones, and then lower the sense to minus 15. I'm gonna head down here and turn our precision to high, and then I'll change the splicing frequency to 47 hertz and the overlapping to 28%. Now let's check out a preview. You haven't been listening. I'm not going to kill him. I'm gonna make him wish he was dead. Not bad. Now guys, if you aren't happy with how low your voice is, play with the semitones and then play with the sense and just find a good balance until you're happy. Now let's close that one out and move on to the next step. So our next step is activating another effect. So head over to the effects rack, head to special and guitar suite. And this is where we'll add a little distortion and enhance our bass. So for starters, I'm gonna set the compressor to 0%, set the filter type to band pass and the resonance to zero. I'll then set the distortion to garage fuzz and set it to 10%. Lastly, I'll change the box type here to bass cabinet. And there we go. Uncheck this bypass box right here, and then I'll change the mix anywhere from 50 to 60%. Now let's have a listen to our final mix. You haven't been listening. I'm not going to kill him. I'm going to make him wish he was dead. Personally, I'm pretty happy with that, but if you want to add more or less bassy distortion, you can simply play with the mix until you find your sweet spot. Now guys, I just want to talk about the effects rack a little bit. Because the beauty of the effects rack is that instead of just applying the effects one by one and on top of each other, you can turn them on and off to check your progress, or you can go in and tweak an effect again without having to undo anything. Then when you're happy, you just hit apply to, well, apply the effects to your audio clip. The process of actually layering these effects one on top of each other and not making them permanent is a lot more efficient in the end. Now before we go, I must make mention of this other cherry on top that we can add. Because for some reason, Prometheus switches from a speaking voice like we've just made to a modulated voice that's sort of doubled up when he's talking to say, Thomas Church. So I'm quickly gonna show you how to make that. So let's head back over to the effects rack, head to modulation and select flanger or flanger, whatever it is, I don't care. And from that drop down menu, we'll select Hell's Chorus. From there, we just need to tweak a few things. We're gonna set the final delay time to 7.22, the feedback to 5%, and the modulation rate to eight. Now let's have a listen to that. You haven't been listening. I'm not going to kill him. I'm gonna make him wish he was dead. So there we go. Two voices for the price of one. You're welcome, guys. Add up those very few steps and your voice goes from this. You haven't been listening. I'm not going to kill him. I'm gonna make him wish he was dead. Uh, to this. You haven't been listening. I'm not going to kill him. I'm gonna make him wish he was dead. Or this. You haven't been listening. I'm not going to kill him. I'm gonna make him wish he was dead. 
So gang, that's my take on Prometheus' voice effect from Arrow. Just like with the other two effects that you'll see on the end screen very soon, it's not really hard to pull off if you start with a good bass impression. Now guys, I'm going to try and tackle a second effect this week, so hopefully the chips fall my way and I get that extra bit of time. But don't be surprised if it doesn't hit until next week. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave us a like and share the video. If you want to support the show, my Patreon info is below, or maybe you could just subscribe if you're new. I know that button there is hard to resist, as are these videos over here. My social media crap is above my head, and until next time, keep learning!